All right, so today's plan is right here under this concrete cover. So I'm at a friend's farm and this is their well. And right now it is only putting out a very small amount of water because there's about seven to maybe 10 feet of sludge built up in it. And winter is coming, they need more water. And so we're gonna clean it out. I brought my new crane truck. We're gonna come down here, back it in, because the cows are thirsty. We need to get them some water. Suck it in. We got the lid lifted off, and as you can see, here is the inside of the well. So, these two pipes run to the well house right there. And this well is probably about 30 feet deep to that water level. It should be around 40 feet. So right now what we're doing is we're pumping any of the water out to, uh, to a basin over by the cows and then 
we're gonna do it old school so we're gonna lower a bucket down there fill it and bring it up with the crane it'll be way faster and we can we can move a lot more using the crane the crane's winch um, that a lot of other ideas were considered for this including a pump truck including you know trying to pump it out with a three inch trash pump dro dropping it down in there and using a pressure washer to stir but we do not have a lot of water here we can't use the pressure washer to truly stir the way we want because there's just not enough pressure here and so a pump truck said multiple of them said they wouldn't want to use their vacuum truck to suck it out because they'd be concerned about sucking a brick and then the whole thing collapsing in so a lot of options have been weighed here in regards to what the safest way to do this is and really the best way is going to be an old school way so we're going to take this barrel we're going to add some chain to it and literally make it a, a movable liftable bucket so that we can pull sludge out of the bottom of the well um yeah we're gonna do this as safe as possible we're gonna put ladders down there as well we're gonna have harnesses on it's it's gonna be it's gonna have some sketch to it but luckily this crane is an absolute beast and should handle absolutely everything we need to do here safely and quickly the whole goal of using the bucket is to be able to get out as much as we can with every load so that we minimize the amount of time someone is down there obviously this is one of those situations where it's probably not the best thing in the world to be going down in a well but at the end of the day the flip side to it is that he doesn't have water for the winter and we need to get that fixed you need to get a solution for that so people have been doing this for generations before now and i know a lot of people are going to be the safety people saying oh you shouldn't be doing that this it's, it's unsafe farms and wells wouldn't exist if people hadn't gone down and built them so this was a hand dug well and when you look down it that you can see a little bit of a wave to it because usually hand dug wells are not perfectly straight because it's very difficult for a person to know their uh, how plumb they are when they're digging so enough about the talk i do appreciate everyone's safety concerns trust me we have them too but this is the lesser of two evils in regards to trying to get this done for him in the farm and absolutely just do it as safely as we can. So let's get right into it. We're gonna drill four holes in it, mount some chain to it, make it a basket. What do you think? Chain on the inside or chain on the outside? Well, strength would probably be in, but it's on the outside going down the well. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's going to bounce off. It's going to have to be tight. Yeah. Just through the nylon. I get it into the nylon. I think we need to cut this chain. We have to, we can. Um, I have no problem cutting it if we need to. Let's do it. If not, we're going to waste eight inches getting across. And it will be, It'll I don't know if we can get it far enough. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. Let me grab the grinder. Safety screen. At least you can reach it. I yeah. wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> have to dump it over. <laughs> Good, this leaves pipes. Okay, yeah, I like that one. Well, hey, it's gonna find its own home when you lift that much weight. I agree with that too. You got a plastic zip tie here with you? I have that one. Uh, yeah, there's some smaller ones. I mean, if we put one in the middle just to keep this from flopping around, yeah. well, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't. I say you let it flop. Let it flop and we can load it easier. Uh, but almost put this through them and then hook this. And it'll still be able to flex it. You tell me if you want that down there, but. You can always take it off. You're free to make it easier to hook every time. Yes. Yeah, that's right? my point. Rather than having to hook two chains. Yep. And you can still flop that, that. that. But I mean, what's that happen? Yeah. I mean, yep. it doesn't matter. And then when we do this, 
Just make sure when it gets ready to lift, right? Yeah. Uh oh. When it lifts. Where do you flip it? Nope. We're good. Okay. Oh, you mean? So that like that, so that it'll find its medium better in the ground section, and then just put that on the hook. I'm good with that too. I don't. Should see we like do the hole in the bottom? You can. That's going to be. Let's not. And then if we decide it's, I video? can't man handle it up here alone or with the boys. Then you add to then it. We add it because we can't take that hole away. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and the other side of it is, God forbid, it leaks. I don't. I'm down I don't on you. No, I don't think it would because you're going to put a the bolt true, in the washers. True. We'd snug it, That's snug, true. right? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. So All right. yeah. All right. We can we can wait for that. All right. The other big thing we want to make sure is we want to make sure that we have oxygen down there. So we're going to do it the old school way. You take a bucket. You light some candles in it, and then we're going to send that down there. And the idea is that if the candles continue to burn all the way down there, that means there's enough oxygen for somebody to be down there and not die. And that's the whole goal here is not die, not die, not die. So we're going to do a lighting of the candles here, and we're going to lower it down. So you see right there, you can see the candles still burning down there. So we're going to let that just sit there for a minute. It's not going to hurt anything. But I would say there's plenty of oxygen down there. What do you think? No gas to blow up. No gas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good deal. So there's another safety measure. And here's one more safety measure. Everyone that's going to be up top is going to be tied off to a safety line with a lanyard similar to how you'd use on a, ro on a roof. This will actually slide along the actual rope, allowing us to get enough working length to get close to the well. But if someone was to fall in, it would catch them and not, not let them fall all the way down. So I've got my harness on. Josh has his on. Jim will be getting his on. Jim is going to be the one going down. So far, we are looking good on many fronts. Now we're going to drop another big ladder down there and just make sure that he has another alternative way to get up and out or get out of the way. You're gonna have to push down, Matt. There we go. Yep, sorry, sorry. There you go. Should've had the hard hat on. All right, sit up. Which side is where I'm going to twist it this way. Is that it? Right there. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Strap it right behind you. Yep, gotcha. We're still burning. Yep. Won't be a hell of a lot closer to the top than we thought. Okay, somebody got the strap. Somebody got the weight of the ladder. I have yep, the ladder. I'm letting go. I have the ladder. Alright, so, I do want you to put that on. Um, boys, the way this works, you hook this to the back, or you hook this to your thing. So, let me just, so when you unhook, what you do is you unhook this. You can clip it, clip it, clip it anywhere, so it's not falling. Leave this piece on your back. Okay. Down. Get over there, lay on your belly and watch. Tell me what you need. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear him. Ten more feet. What? Ten more feet. He's there! He's there! 
Go down. Go down a little more. That's good. That's good. Any of these ones up here any better? Coming up. Coming up. Yeah, you're good. Oh, no. Good. There, back. That's good. A little more down. More down. More, less, more. Is that good? A little more in about a foot. Good. Good. Ask me one more time. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't want some loose. Are we going to take that up? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What do you do with it? Did you shut it off? It's off now. Yeah, I shut it off. But sometimes it doesn't want to stay in. All right, well, here, let me turn it on. Yep. Good? Yep. All right, I shut it off. Yep. We tape that in the up position. Yeah, but feed oh, it with yes, me. Yes. Feed it. Let me go down. No, no, no. Right. Yeah, you can't be on that, though. Ready for uh, a bit? Follow it in. Yep. I'd say, can we drag one of those things up here and put, or, or put a I would rather there? do here. Yeah. Agreed. What was in this, though? You know? I never used it. That we need, I would just, let's get rid of some water through it first before we give it to cows to drink. If I remember right, where I got it, the guy used it on a farm for water. Bam. I knew it was going to be a long shot, but... This little submersible pump just did not have the pressure to be able to pump water all the way up and out of that well. It was just too far for it to do it. We're not done. And trust me, I don't give up. Yeah, it's definitely empty and pretty damn quick. It's empty and quick. Is that it? No. What happened? I moved it a little. Moved it. It's quick. It turned off. It was better where it was. How about now? No. Nothing. How about now? Nope. Did it get unplugged? No, it's running. In the water still. Let me turn it off, pull it up, and put it back down. Turn yeah, it turn it off. Did it fill that tub? No. Oh. Right when I got the tub, you moved it and it quit. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's coming. Not, not a stream, though. Is it pumping? I think it, it's starting to come up. But... Now what? Anything, Ben? I see bubbles down there. See the bubbles? It Huh? I say we pull it, turn it off, pull it back up, yeah, see if it got plugged. Yeah. No water yet. Okay. Want some rats in that bucket? Huh? You want the rabbit jug in there? No, I won't do it. Turn it off. Again? 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 
Okay, yeah, leave it off. Just the center part spins. The outside stays. Okay. So the inner must be. So we. But did something spin? That spins and that spins through there. But looking through here, this shaft spins, but these outers don't. Okay. So our foot valve fe fell off, which is right here. It has a check ball in it that keeps pressure so we don't lose prime. The ejector here, the pump pushes water pressure down through it and then allows it to build pressure to send more water up the larger pipe. The foot valve or the, yeah, the foot valve here was attached right here, but it wasn't deep enough to pump out the water that's down there. So we're using this flexi hose, Mort's the approved, because this is a use not for automotive, he'll love that. And we're gonna basically drop it down further. But the problem is, is that this nipple here is not thick enough. So he's building that one up with duct tape. I'm using a chunk of uh, radiator hose that we cut. We're doing what, this is redneck rigging here. We're gonna just make this work um, so we can pump it out. There's a whole nother pump that's going in later. We'll deal with that then. But for now, the whole goal is to get the water out so we can start mucking the bottom out. Good. Good. All situated. Good. Down. I think I'm gonna have to put you right a little bit. Don't be good. You want me right there? You're gonna be closer to the wall. I'm fine. Alright. When the uh, the pipes are coming down. Okay. Good? Yep. All right, I'm gonna help him with that. Yep. Put the over. Still got the straps. Right. Back one. Yep, you're on. I'll start with the movie sideways and then down. Yep. All right, what do you want? Out? Okay. All right, so we're gonna give this a quick test, make sure that it's gonna fit nicely down there with a person down there. So we made this sling, this will clip right on here. And so we're just gonna lift it up, drop it down there and see what that looks like.
See, somebody had to be here guiding. And when we pull it up with it full, got to make sure it doesn't hit those pipes. Go ahead and go down. Is there room down there to work, you think? We'll find out. I can't see down there past the ladder, so. other one the blue one the 55 gallon it went down there and Jim did like half full and it was just it was too big it was too it took up too much space in the hole and he wasn't able to actually work very well and scoop it all the way up into it so instead what we did is I had some of these uh, 20 gallon salvage drums so it says salvage so it's got to be good these things are like quarter inch thick plastic it is heavy duty and so we just transferred over the chains from the 55 gallon barrel over to this one. And this one absolutely worked great. Probably because it has the word salvage on it. That would be my guess. Down, 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 down. Now, off. All right. Matt. This is good to go? Yeah. Tethered in. I'm about to bring it down. No, not that. Down. Can you take it down a little bit just so I can see? Coming down. Coming down. All right. Roll it, Matt. What do you need me to do with it? Alright, hang on, let's get the other ladder out of the way. No bad. You tell them when you're ready, I'll be on the crane. Coming up!
How are we looking? Okay. Going well? Good as it could be anyway? What it is? It is. <laughs> I just don't think they can hear me sometimes. Honestly, Jim, there's no problem with yelling. Yell. I'm the one down here. Hey, we will what? We'll take it, whatever you can dish okay. out. Don't worry about feelings right now. You're in a, a deep hole in the mud and water. I don't blame you at all. If they don't have thick skin, they better develop it. <laughs> Welcome to the world, huh? Yep. Hey, Matt, question yeah. for you. Yes, sir. We have your quick coupling down here on this foot valve. Yep. Do you have such a thing as extensions for those? Pipe extensions that are like four inches, six inches? Maybe. Huh? I said maybe. That might be the quickest way to extend it. We could make one. I don't know. What size pipe is that? I Do think it's it. an inch and a half, maybe. I have more of those quick connectors, so we, we could fabricate what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. That way we don't touch our other stuff. Do a quick disconnect. Yeah, do it go, fast. Reprime it and go. Yep. I can almost do that here when it's dumped. We don't take the pipes up. Well, it's going to be down at the cave. I just don't know if I have the pipe, the inch and a half. Another option would be I send you down that bucket empty and you bucket it into there and I'll pull out a bucket of water if that helps. Put the pump on, Marcy. All right. Valve two or just no, the pump? Just the pump. I want to hear it this time. Okay. Pump's on. Pump's on. Turn the valve on. Turn the valve on. No, forget it. Never mind. Don't turn it on. Go. Okay. Go. Turn it off. Turn it off. Pumps off. Pumps off. Yep, we're out. We're out of water. Yeah. I'm out of water in the well. Oh, I see. It's not high enough. Correct. Okay. Clean. Yeah. Let the flip the crane down. Ooh, guess what? Flip the crane down. I like this move. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Stop. Have him turn the pump on now. Turn the pump on. on? Yeah. He's using the bucket to displace the water to bring yeah. it up. That's yeah. smart. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's a smart. That's a smart idea. Here's the sludge we're dealing with down there. It is thick. Very nice. Coming over. Coming over. Coming down. Coming down. Is that a good spot, Ben? Yeah. You ready to come up? You ready to come up? Yeah. Coming up. Coming up. Coming left. What you need to add is like big spotlights on the top. All right, buckets coming down. Come out. These are light bar headlamps and it's basically this LED strip that's all the way across the front and it has a really nice here Josh show the back really nice like full battery pack back here that's rechargeable they are quickly and easily disconnected so you could take off put a different battery but man there's multiple settings I think three settings for the light and then there's two red settings but they are absolutely awesome they put out a ton of light exactly where you need it so if you're interested in a headlamp check out light bar headlamps all right we're back so it is already like four o'clock at night we're gonna pull this off and try and lower the foot valve essentially 
we basically just extended it enough to be able to pump some water out and we used some duct tape and a bunch of other random redneck riggery to to get it working it lost its prime because i'm betting that the pipe down there came off so the plan will be to extend the foot valve with this pvc got some fittings got some glue and so we're basically he's going to go down there get the foot valve pull it out we're going to take the whole chunk of of uh pipe out fix what we need and then put it right back in and it should be good to go so one more time down and this this is what we pulled out all of that it actually seems like a lot less than i would have thought but right in that area there was a huge rut kind of like like that probably i don't know a foot deep and now we're about a foot foot and a half over it so it's quite a bit of junk we pulled out it was a a long night finishing that up let's get the crane fired up and we'll get these covers off and start heading down Yeah, I'll jump off and head to you when I get you most of the way in. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to know to stop. You'll tell me. Can you hear me? Oh, I have an idea. I'd have some walkie talkies. Okay. I'll walk off the wall. Ryan, give me like, Jim, the walkie talkie wise, give me a notice like five feet before the bottom so, so I'm not like slamming it down. Stop. You want me to lower that to you? Couldn't turn it. Handle was too long. Oh, I see. Now, <laughs> you get down there, you can't use it. <laughs> Run down. Leave me hooked. Leave me hooked. Just grab my boots. Okay. The this thing actually go in the helmet to stay and not fall off. That, but I, have I don't want to drop it in the water on it. All right. Wait, hey, leave the battery pack of light because that'll keep it in front. The other one kept rotating to the back of me. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Come on, baby. Uh, I need you to let me down, so. Okay. How much? Like a foot? Uh, yeah. Okay. How's that? Oh, man, boy. Okay, lift me up. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Up. Yeah. Good. Take this. I couldn't get a measure. I was laying on the water. Okay. Lower me down one more time. I'll get a measurement. Thank you. 
Over. To the bottom of the well, up to the middle of the ejector where that little quarter inch nut just to get a fine line. Okay. 45 foot speed in the dirt. Okay. So we'll make it go 42. I'd say we can measure off of that. Huh? Yeah, I think a couple of you can say. 42 off of that. 42 is a good number. Yeah. I like four and two. They're four good. Two is a good one. That's exactly what happened though, didn't it? So push, that pressure pushed it off. That's okay. It worked for when we needed. Yep. We knew it was a temporary fix anyway. I just do this suspended. I won't have a ladder. Sorry. Right. Oh, if I need a foot. I can, I can put the thing on. Tell me if you, you know what? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Because that gave me a foothold back to put pressure on the pipe switch. Getting good at it. <laughs> Not my first time now. Good. I'm not going all the way down. There you go. Oh, man. Yeah, that'll be safer. That'll work. All the way in the corner. Yep. Put me in the well. You might have to hand them down to me when I tell yeah, you that. Yeah, that's fine. So I can do that. Just to be safe. Actually, I'll stick them a little further. Yep. 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 All right. Going up. Right. Yeah. There, more. Good. Good. Like I said, unless I can't get a bite on it, we'll see. Can you move? I'll move you. Yep. Hmm. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Pipe bridge. Wouldn't it be nice if they were both the same size? Well, I just mean the connectors, not so much the pipe. Yeah. Okay, I am probably gonna have to go down just a little bit. It's fine. Take one. I'll lower you down. Down. Good. You're going to have to be on that side so I can get them to you better. Prop, okay. Good? Good. Except it's a good thing to put the off. That's true. Nice and easy. Keep it up. Clamps. Clamps. Wait. All right, great. Yeah. Coming up. Yep. You tell me what's best here. Should we put the plastic, measure it, put a plastic together first before we get it wet? I'm going to say, all said and done, we had 45 inches of water right through there to the bottom. Okay. And how far out of the water was that? That would have been barely at the tip of the water. I was only getting 50 gallons. Do we want to? That's I'm, what I'm just. We're just gonna mock it up. Like, do we want to? Do we just want to go ahead and put this in and tighten it? 
Uh, we we can. could, right? Yeah, yeah. This could be a we done can. deal on this one. Tight uh, up first. We have paid. I got Teflon tape. You want it? Uh, probably should, right? Yeah, I would. Uh, I got. Hey, I got pipe dope with me. So the plan here is to. This is our actual um, ejector. We're gonna basically extend off the ejectors down, so we can put the foot valve, which has a check ball in it, and it basically was what keeps our prime. This is also where the water sucks out of to go up. So we're basically, instead of this being attached like that, we're going to extend it down to whatever number we me he measured. He measured what the distance is. So we're going to PVC glue that into here, or uh, pipe dope it and Teflon tape it. And then we're going to cut this pipe, and it'll glue into that side, and then this will glue in here, and we'll thread that right like that. You want it? I'll grab it for you. If you're not familiar with pig products, they are awesome. Paper towels, moist wipes, all kinds of different things. So go check them out. Great company. Hold that. Hold that. Do you like? I wouldn't. Huh? Just enough to it's still snug. I don't. Huh? One more. Good. One more. Oh, yeah. She was bad. Okay. We should be good on the tape in that, right? We're gluing everything else. We can glue one, and then we'll cut the other end. Yeah, if you want to do that one first, we can. Did you even clean that one? Nope. Because I did that one. Oh, okay. I thought we were just working from there out. It doesn't matter to me. I was going to do the other end, but obviously you know to twist it. You can go in. Quarter turn, half turn. What do you want? I, I twist it all the way in. Okay. Keep You're, twisting it. Guide me. You ready? Yep. Yeah, just like that's fine. That should set, right? It'll set up, yep. Give it a minute okay. or two. Yep. All right, we wanted, I'm going to say to be safe, 45 was dirt. Okay. 42 from there to there. All right, it's an inch and a quarter into the pipe. Okay, so whatever, wait a minute. No, no, no. That's got to be the bottom of it. Bring the foot valve up. There you go. So, 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Right, cut it. Or 10 and a half, excuse me. 10 and a half. I'm going the wrong direction. Yep. Yep. Ready? Just go sideways. Got it. Okay. You want to get behind me? Yeah, you want to do it? Yep. I'm not helping much. Yeah, you are. Okay, easy? Yep. Easy? Where is it? I don't see the water. Oh, we're good. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna straddle the well here a minute. You're gonna go to your right. Go like that. Yep. Gotta go up there. We good? Yep. Yeah, I think it loves itself. Yeah. You good? I am going to give myself the extra rung down. Okay. No? Order, order, order. Say we do prime it and just check it tonight. Like, just make sure everything's good. Yes. Yes. While we're here and have it open. Yeah.
Just gonna check it. I'm gonna check it. I'll grab something to break. <laughs> that leaf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going down. Yep. Before we try and did you still have time for a brick or two or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, I'm fine. What well, you want to fill it first, though? Make sure we're okay before we work. I would. Bricks. I would. Yeah. All right. The point of the whole project is to make sure that we had more water down there. We just turned it on, primed it. If you listen really carefully, you can hear it. You probably can't because I got the microphone facing me, but I can hear water coming up. So what happens is the pump will send the pump will send water down that smaller pipe there, pushes it through the ejector, and then sucks out of the foot valve back up this bigger pipe, allowing you to pump a, a greater amount of water out of the well. So I still hear air bubbles, so it's still priming itself. And both of these pipes run into the pump house here where there's a pump, pumps the water up, and then there's a line that goes all the way over here, all the way over that way, where the cows get watered. So there's a couple troughs over there that he fills with water. And that's the whole point, point of all this, is that this is not water to a house, even though it could be. This is a fix so that we can keep the cows watered. I'm hearing less and less bubbles. I still hear air, but it's getting better. So we think that we dug out about five feet of sludge. There's a lot more water down there now. And as far as safety goes, we did this about as safe as you could possibly do it. The crane absolutely worked amazing. It was perfect. It was really, really felt, it felt really, really safe for me lowering him down in there to be able to do that. We're going to lower him down there one more time. Because this is a brick lined well, the, there are two spots. There's this brick here that he found and there's another like half brick that's missing. So we're going to mix up a little bit of mortar and he's gonna basically patch it and make it so that uh, we don't end up with a well that's gonna collapse in on him at some point. Just a little maintenance. It really ideally should be sleeved or should be completely mortared all the way around. I don't know, there's, there's so much more you could do. At this point, it's just not worth the time, but it is worth the time to get all that water. Do you want me to turn it on? All right, here's our valve. Open that up and that will send water over where the cows are. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we got flow. There we are. This is what we've been working towards right there. That's a good flow too. It's not too bad murky wise either. Yeah, it doesn't look, I mean, there's a little bit of a little silt in it, but a little bit. It's not too bad. Obviously that'll settle out. Oh, there's yeah, some. <laughs> It'll find itself. So you can't really tell just because it's dark, but the water is coming out a little dirty. But we expected that. It's got to naturally clean and settle and get to the point where it's just pulling clean water. And apparently the cows won't drink it if they don't like the smell of it. And that kind of surprised me. I I mean, I know animals are smart, but... So then he'll take that and he'll run it. So he's got a trough there, trough there, trough there. If we look out here, we can see all... You can see some of the cattle. 
I'll get you a better shot during the day. Here's one. So these are black Angus cattle. So before we did all this, he's saying that, how much flow do we have? Used to come out about like that. Got about 50 gallons. About 50 gallons out of it total. And now, look at that. It's always better to have a longer stream. Insert your joke here. So I need to run up and get the uh, the new service truck, the International Crane Truck, and check this thing out. This is an electric scooter. It's powered on both wheels. This thing will get up to somewhere in the range of like 40 miles an hour. It's a, an electric scooter. It's got shocks in the front and back. This is made by a company called Varla. This is their Eagle One version 2.0 folds down in half so you can take it places perfect thing for me to run from the shop here up to somewhere else to be able to pick a machine up that's not far from here we're going to take this thing we're going to run up and go get that truck all right so there's our screen probably can't see the best but we can increase our speed to five that'll give us the fastest all right let's rock and roll So last night we basically finished by completely re-tuck pointing or basically covering the top lip with mortar all the way around. As you can see, it's setting up around there. Some of the bricks were starting to fall in. There was a couple on that corner, a couple on that edge, and some on the far corner. And so we wanted to make it safe for the next time something has to happen here. Obviously, it's one of those situations where, you know, it's a, it's a brick-lined well, so you know, without totally doing an entire job on it, it really wasn't worth doing any more than we did. So we fixed the top lip, went down in, patched two or three little spots that had bricks that had started to crack out, just to eliminate any chance of a failure in the future. But we have officially saved the farm, saved the cows. So the water gets pumped over here, and then he's got troughs here. This red hose actually comes directly from the pump house. And then he's got troughs here, there, a bunch over there. I don't even see the cows. Let's see if we can find them. Look at that beautiful old John Deere track loader on the, on the horizon. There they are. They're just over here laying down in the shade. There's another track loader. Got another John Deere. Oh, it's an Alice Chalmers. That's cool. Is that for a ripper? I think that might be for a ripper. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. Just chilling. But here are all the cattle. They're over here, kind of in the shade. Just taking it easy. Yeah, we're not gonna bother them. We're just gonna leave them alone. But as you can see, these are Black Angus cattle. Beautiful cows. All right, you guys have a good one. Hopefully we uh, saved your water for you. I would say the new crane truck worked absolutely amazing. And we have officially saved the farm because every farm needs water to water whether it's crops, whether it's cattle, whether it's people, you name it. Water is essential in anything we do, especially on a farm. I hope you enjoyed the process and the project that we had here, getting the old well cleaned out. This farm needed that badly. They were running hoses from a neighborhood away, trying to basically fill the water troughs every day. And through the winter, they were freezing. 
This will hopefully solve that problem. The new crane truck. That thing has proved it's worth beyond what I thought it was going to be. And we've only used it for one little project. So I am pumped to have it. I've got major plans for it. Lots of stuff we're going to do to it. We'll do a full service on it. Basically get it all cleaned up. I've got a lot of things I want to do to make it more suited to what I need. But wow, that crane absolutely mint. And it's going to be extremely useful to have around. If you enjoyed the project definitely leave me a comment let me know if you didn't tell me what you didn't like about it leave me a thumbs up if you subscribe that's great if you don't no worries thanks for watching i truly appreciate you here at salvage workshop